Hello guys. Uh, disclaimer, I'm really, really still feeling hungover. I've had a week of celebrations because it was my birthday on Thursday and I don't think I've still gotten over it. I've just kind of kept hammering my body in every single sense and I'm done and <laughs> I'm just exhausted. So I'm making this video literally an hour after I've woken up. I haven't done my hair. I need to just wash it. <laughs> I need to shave. By the way, this video is about male skincare and makeup. First off, it's a question that I've been asked a lot. I've had girls and guys asking sometimes how them or their boyfriend or their brother or anyone can use makeup on their skin without it looking obvious that they are. So this is, you know, no frills, contour. This isn't gonna be a big one. I'm gonna be going kind of past a lot of steps that I usually would do. And I've really just looked at what I've got and created a kind of a very, very stripped back natural look which is really customizable, so it's good for any skin type, any kind of color tone of the skin. So hopefully this should help absolutely any guy, and I will promise that it will not be noticeable. Hang on, I'll just show you the steps. So yeah, so I've left my stubble on, firstly, because guys usually have stubble. This is usually the thing that can make you worried about putting makeup on, especially with the base. Um, I find that a uh, foundation or any creams really kind of reside within the hairs. So I said that it was gonna be broken down into three bits. Um, number one is the base, second is the application, and third is the finalizing of the whole skin, making sure that it's totally undetectable. So now I'm gonna get into the three steps. So firstly, I'm just gonna outline what they are. Number one is the base, so this is where you're gonna choose the color, what kind of products you wanna be using, and also what kind of goal you wanna be getting. So whether it's gonna be more matte, more sheer, which means that it's gonna be slightly more glowy, definitely more natural looking than matte, less cakey, things like that. Number two is the application. This is where you really change up the way it looks. It's kind of like a painter. You don't rub the wall with your hand. You do it with a brush. That's because they want a specific look for it. With makeup, especially for guys, I use, usually tend to like using a sponge, especially for this tutorial I'm gonna be doing that because number one, it gets it the best finish, and number two, it mimics the pore surface of the skin. So when you are putting it on your skin, it mimics that whole look, so you want the texture. Number three is finalizing. So finalizing is just either setting it with a powder or using a bronzer to unify the face of what you've done and with the neck, making sure that you're blending everything in with the stubble or facial hair or anything. So yeah, firstly, I'm gonna go right into it with the base. So this is where, this is where it can get kind of tricky. So I'm just gonna show you three different options. So number one, you could start with a BB cream, a tinted moisturizer, a DD cream, a CC cream, everything they're also different basically bb cc dd they're all similar things and they all kind of target different bits so bb is more blemish cc is more correcting and dd is more kind of like anti-aging these are all things that you can read on the packets and stuff i'm no expert i just have experience with using them so this is one that i picked up so say we were going to go with this route the positives are that it's super super light it's pretty much a moisturizer with a lot of other benefits like sun cream things like that um, these are brilliant if you want a really light coverage. So this is the Superdrug DD Cream. I got it at half price, I think it was six pound or something. They're always half price, they're always on offers, so check them out. I've got it in light. I've got a pretty pale skin tone, but I can tan quite easily. So I find light can usually darken up quite a bit. So this I always mix up with a moisturizer even though it's already kind of light. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, you need, or you could do with one, which is a actual foundation which is matted. So this is the Air Matte Bourgeois, and this is in 03 Light Beige. Okay, so that's number two option. Number three is going full foundation sheer coverage. So this is things like the Bourgeois Healthy Mix. So I have one of these in light vanilla and one in dark beige. This is more for contouring looks and things, but also a kind of reason for getting two, these were on a three for two by the way, um, is that you can mix them up. So I can put one really pale, one way darker, mix it up and kind of make my own skin color. This is really useful as well once you buy it, because then, you know, as soon as summer comes, which it won't happen in England, but as soon as it does come out, um, you're ready to kind of just darken it a little bit. So I think for guys, um, this is really, really useful. However, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show kind of the most natural, dewy look. Um, so actually, what am I gonna do? This is kind of difficult, because I need to think what the best way is. They're all genuinely really, really good ways of doing it. Um, but I'm actually going to show how to do it with the sheer coverage and the matted on the T-zone 
just because I'm gonna guess that most people um, have issues with a shiny T-zone. I do, that's not just generalizing thinking that. I'm hoping other people have that problem as well, because uh, it's a pain. Um, and hopefully this way we can cut out needing to use powder, which for me is always a telltale with makeup and it makes you look super cakey. So yeah, so this, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You could use this as a moisturizer and rub it in gently and it would look great. So for that, we're gonna leave this aside and we're gonna do the tutorial with this application, normal sponge, and this isn't a beauty blender. I don't even know what company it was. They're just typical sponges. So on your hand, I'm literally gonna put one pump of the dark, One pump of the light. And then a little bit of the matted one. And this is, I'm just putting this on the side of it, just because I'm only gonna use that on my T-zone and forehead, which is the bits that usually go shiny on the skin. And then I'm going to put on that a little bit of moisturizer. So my favorite one is this Green People one. Uh, it's called Fruitful Nights Cream. It's my favorite smell I've ever had. Everyone in my family used to use it when I was younger and the smell just reminds me of like nighttime and things. Don't know why I use it in the day. It just smells like passion fruit and it's nice and chilled. It's organic, you can pretty much eat it. Um, and that's a good thing when it comes with moisturizers. You want something light, you want something kind of natural, or at least I do when I'm putting products on like this. So yeah, so that is all on my skin. So this is pretty much everything that I would need to do my skin. So this morning, uh, <laughs> my skin looks quite pale because I'm just woken up. So I'm going to just dab some of the moisturizer on the Beauty Blender and then just get two of them. So now I've mixed the lighter and the darker uh, actual foundation with the moisturizer. So actually it's gonna be quite light. Literally just start. And for the sake of this, I'm actually gonna look at the screen just so I know what I'm doing. So yeah, so I'm literally just gonna start patting like that and you can't even see it because it's that kind of like so as you can see, it's starting to kind of cancel out already some of the tones, like the red mark that I've got. I don't actually know how I've got it. So as you can see, I'm just patting it in. And this is kind of cool as well because, and we've always been in this moment sometimes, you're not always, I mean like I have no problem now using makeup brushes and things because I kind of just don't care. But sometimes if you're like with a group and things, especially like when I was first getting into makeup and things, I'd be like, oh, I don't want to use like a makeup brush. Like it makes me look really kind of like, I don't know. It just makes you think really like, oh my gosh, I'm actually a girl. Now I don't care because I just do it and it's amazing. But this also, if you're kind of just nervous or getting into makeup and things, you're pretty much just sponging your face, which looks really cool. That's literally it. So I've gone on all over and then now I'm going to just Get this bit, and because I've still got a bit of moisturizer on the skin, I'm just gonna go on the T-zone. So, and you're pretty much just pressing the product in. With these things, they're, they're really, I'm, I'm just ripping back totally here, and doing stuff that, I could do this on like my brother, who's like a total lad lad, and you wouldn't even be able to tell that he's wearing it. So this is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I could do so much more, and if you would want a video like that, let me know. But for now, let's just do one that every guy can do and any girl can do if you want to look like you're not wearing anything. Do the ears and things. Right, so that's my skin. So now all the product is on and that's pretty much as I'd leave it if you'd want to look super, super natural. But in terms of finalizing, this is the third and final bit of it. To be honest, the finalizing bit for me is usually bronzer. I've just put on another color of skin tone, um, as matching to mine as possible, but I have on my face and not my neck. So bronzer is kind of my secret of how I make these blend without having to put the actual product on the stubble, which is always the bit that looks really cakey um, whenever a guy does foundation on things and just puts it everywhere because it just sits within the hairs and it doesn't look good and we shouldn't have to have that. So this is my tip. So if my skin is a little bit still pale, I'll use this, which is the Soleil um, Tandis Chanel. So this is pretty much just a cream bronzer. It's kind of like a mousse, pretty hard as well. So I would literally just dab that and just go over um, areas of the skin. That could be kind of a light contour if you wanted to do it, or if you just kind of wanted to look like you've been in a bit of sun. So focusing on areas like that on the forehead, here on the cheeks, um, on the nose, um, a little bit on your chin, anyways that the sun would be going down onto your face. 
For this video, we're not going to, just because I want to make it look as natural as possible. And seeing as it's winter, I don't want to be making my skin any browner of this video anyway. Okay, so this is where you would need a brush. Obviously, I've gone for the laddiest one possible. This is the real techniques. This is when you will need a brush. You can't really do this um, with your fingers just because you're going to get too much product. And the reason why we're using this isn't to look browner. It's actually to blend everything in. So I'm not going to do the whole mirror thing. So bronzer like this. I'm trying to think what shade it is. It's just medium. With guys with bronzer, never ever go with one with a shimmer. Always go for matte. Always looks more natural. And this just never gets noticed. So what you do is you just, on it, lightly, lightly powder it, give it a shake or like a blow, and then this, literally just do little, you're just dusting it over that area. So it's kind of just. Blending in your stubble. And this, no lie, is the only way that I've been able to make, kind of, it look like I've got, like, perfect made up skin without it looking like I've got any makeup on and being able to have stubble. So this is the hungover lazy or you're going out and you want to keep your stubble because it's cool or you like it um, and it's really in right now especially with the beards and things so definitely you don't need to shave it off but you just need to kind of change up the way that you're using skincare which we can do which is why we're blessed that we've got so many products and ways of doing it and YouTube that we can learn things from people um, and things like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I skipped primer. I didn't use any powders to finish apart from the bronzer just to match the neck. Yeah, that's it to be honest. Um, I mean, I could go a lot more. I could have so many more steps. Uh, eyebrows and things, I think when you're looking for something very natural with guys, leave them. Uh, at most, give them a brush if you'd like. Um, by the way, Guys makeup, you can go with as much or as little as you want. This tutorial is literally just to do the bare bones, bare minimum, like the teeniest bit to make it look super, super subtle. Most of us now, we don't really care. We'll use bronzer, we'll do things like that. And if anybody says guys don't wear makeup, go fuck yourself because everyone is allowed to have flaws and everyone is able and lucky enough now to be able to change them and cover them up if you'd like and have good skincare and look as good as you possibly can to make yourself feel better, if that's what you want. So yeah, so this was just a little video of super, super stripped back. I could go uh, about 40 more steps and things if I wanted to, or if I had time or the energy to. Or if it was another video, I could. If you want more of like a contouring look or a way more high coverage foundation look, let me know. Let me know what you thought as well. Um, and I'll try and put all the, oh no, I will put all the products down in the um, description box below just to show you what kind of products and shades that I'm doing. It's not to kind of sell them on and things. These are all just things that I use myself um, and I thought would be best for the video for guys that just didn't want to look like they were wearing makeup. So yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and please link and share or whatever. Um, like me on Instagram, I've got it linked down below. And yeah, thank you for watching and I hope this helps even just one person. I'll be happy to help. See you later guys.